Hello Pisces, this is Mambo Sierra from Beautifully Deadly Conjurer, and I'm back with another general tea leaf reading. This tea leaf reading will consist of um, three months, which will be October, November, and December. I've also did a blind, um, a blind card pull for each month, so for October, November, December, okay? When I was doing my, um, my thing and I have to flip the cup over and, you know, do, do my little routine with the teacups, the, um, some water and tea splashed out and, um, messy came to, in, came to my mind. Um, so if you know, um, either you or somebody you may know, or there may be some messy gossip, messy drama, just that sort of energy, um, maybe around you. And you may need to um, cut that cut that out, you know, cut it out of your life, cut it out of your time so that you won't be caught up in the, the bull, the bull mess. And then here it looks like, um, okay, so it looks like a vase of some sort. Um, and it's at the top of the brim, like all of the stuff at the top of the brim but in the inside is like scarce there's like holes not being filled with the things that that you may need so if you are pouring from an empty cup giving in and giving cont consistently to people and you're not filling in your own cup and you're only making it appear as if your cup is full then you have to quit quit that um Look at the spaces in your life that need attention, that need time, that need nurturing in order that so that all of it, all of you can be whole in order to feel, in order to help other people, you know, and you help them by using the overflow of what you've already given yourself. Okay, so we'll see here what we have for October. Okay, so this kind of this. I mean, I got a couple of thoughts. So this is reminding me of um, skiing, skiing down a slope. Um, and I heard, you know, a slippery slope. So maybe the direction that you are are going in. Um, maybe the relationship that you've chosen or the person that you've chosen may be bringing you down to a, a slope, a slippery slope that you may not want to be in. And it goes back to the drama. Um, if they are not a person with the integrity and morals that you need for yourself, then this person is just going to drag you down and you're just going to be along for the ride, trying to guide and navigate your way with two little sticks. Okay. And it, and, and it also reminds me of something, it looks like a machine too. Um, if you've ever seen those um, machines where they got the, the dildos at the end and it, it's like a, the, I don't know what it's, I don't know the exact term, but I know the machine. So um, it's like you're being screwed over by fake people, basically because it's fake, like a dildo's fake. I mean, the machine is just doing its job and it's just like there's it goes back to the drama, like I said, with uh, fake friends and everything like that. So if you don't know who these people are right now, I believe that they will be made known to you. And um, in this month, let's see what your card is. Ace of Water. Falling in love with the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. So for some, this is a time where um, you will be finding a relationship. A uh, relationship will be coming to you, whether, you know, that's friendship, that's family, any sort of relationship um, that you may have been wanting to work on. This is a new beginning for it. It's a new start. So think of October as a new start for... Um, new things that you want to pursue that you actually want in your life you know and let your intuition guide you so that it can help you grow into the being that you need to be okay so we'll see what's what we got for 
<laughs> November. Okay, so this here, right here, looks like a person, and it looks like she's got a sword. Um, it's not aimed at anything. It's almost like she's holding it behind her, like on her shoulder, um, ready. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to get ready if you stay ready kind of energy. And that is kind of like you'll be ready for anything that comes along your way, mentally, physically, or spiritually. You won't wait around um, to try and make decisions on how to handle something and you'll already know because you've stayed ready. So if you haven't been ready for any sort of uh, anything, if you haven't been ready for anything new, um, exciting, surprising, anything, it doesn't matter what it is in your life, then it's time to get ready and stay ready. Um, so, and I just heard jazz, jazz. If anybody is connected to jazz, um, J-A-Z-Z -Z is what I'm seeing, jazz. If you know of a person named jazz, if you know of, if you like jazz music, you know, maybe, uh, Okay, maybe there's um, a person in your life who's crossed over and, and likes jazz music and they're trying to get your attention. Um, so that's for that's going to be for a select few, um, somebody's loved one. Okay, let's see what your card is. All right, the high priestess. Listen to your intuition. Have, have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Yeah, that... You're, so your intuition is going to be at a high these last three months, these next three months. So it's time for you to listen to that and, you know, connect with water. You're a Pisces. So connect with water in order to get get closer to your intuition and get closer to your spirit, guys. If that's how you um, need to be, don't disregard what spirit is telling you, you know, just because you want somebody to be in your life. Don't disregard the things that are meant to be, you know, and what's not meant to be. Listen carefully with an open heart and an open mind. Okay, so for December here, this looks like a dagger. It looks like a dagger and it also looks like a, a person flying. So... If you're flying, that means you're free and that means you've cut the weight with your dagger. So there's a, a sense of independence. There's a sense of freedom in, um, coming towards you because you've learned to use your intuition these past few months and really discern who is for you and who is not for you. Okay. So your card... You got some lots of blue here and two major arcana cards. So, um, unity, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors or like minded friends. Yeah, you, you're you coming into a new stage of your life where your intuition is taking center stage. And, and the people who you thought were your people, they may not be because they're not on the same level anymore. They're not um, trying to grow spiritually and you may be trying to grow spiritually. So I would begin to look for a mentor if you haven't on how to really connect with your ancestors, your guides, um, any sort of things like that. It's, it's going to be up to you and how you handle these things. But you're at a transformation, Pisces. And in that transformation, you're gonna you're gonna have to learn how to guide and navigate the people you surround yourself with. Okay. Let's see what is that at the bottom? Mm. Okay, so that kind of looks like a hut, and um, one instance it looks like a shark, and then another a fish. So I would protect my home if that's the case, because, you know, spiritual attacks could be a thing if you are a spiritual person. So I would protect my home. Um, and then this may be for some, this may be a new home where 
uh, you move and then you, you find a, a better job or a better situation where you're making more money. So, and that could be any time. This is at the bottom of the cup. So, bottom of the cup is like general energies overall is what I'm giving. So, yeah, um, a move um, that brings more money in. Okay. Well, thank you, Pisces, for listening and, and coming on. And I hope that it resonates. I appreciate the love and for the share, subscribes, and the likes. Um, thank you and have a good day.